mostly Zara, mostly shoes, all sale. If you guys are new here, I do fashion, DIY, beauty, lifestyle, all sorts of videos uploaded every Sunday and Thursday, so subscribe to stay tuned. You can follow me on social media, everything is at look under here, and then Twitter is at underscore look under here. The Zara Boxing Day sale started December 26th at 12 a.m. and I had no intention of stopping by, but I stopped by and it was madness. So being a smart shopper and knowing that the sale is really crazy, I would add everything up to $50, quickly make my purchase and then go back and start the hunt for more things. And there were already things that I lost out on, which is, I mean, you get over it. It's disappointing, but you save money. So even these items, I don't know if I'll keep, but Zara has such a good return policy that I made the purchase anyways. And I often do end up doing returns. I'm not the person that will buy it and be like, oh, I do like it and then keep it. I guess the first thing is what I'm wearing. I really like the details of the sweater with the split sleeve and the highlighting knit that runs all the way down the body. It's most likely gonna pill. The next is this top. This one is in a size large, another example of how crazy the sale can get. I couldn't get a small, but it's such a loose fitting top and it doesn't have shoulder seams, so it doesn't really matter if it doesn't fit in the shoulders. And I'm the kind of person that always wears their sleeve rolled up because I feel like the ends of sleeves are always getting in the way and they look nice when they're long but they're not very practical. But the good thing about these sleeves is that you can tie them up so it's kind of like a nice little detail but also a good practical addition. So my biggest dent was with shoes at Zara. I think my favorite pair are these pink slippers. They're similar to the, I think, uncommon or common project shoes and it's a little bit of a peachy pink and they come with this plastic sunglass detail which they're very easy to take out but these are going to be such nice everyday shoes lately i've been very concerned about preventing bunions i'm very worried about my feet deforming and getting really gross i still love pointy shoes as you can see the rest of my haul they're all pointy but on an everyday basis, I'm really trying to find shoes that I can wear that are good for my feet, but also that are cute. The next are these heeled leather shoes, and they are 100% leather. This new shoe silhouette, I call it the vagina silhouette. Usually shoes have that wider teardrop cut, but this is just like a slit, kind of like a vagina. I love the shape of the heel. I think the shape of the heel is really what sold me. I would definitely be wearing these with boyfriend jeans, ripped jeans, and it's a great way to kind of dress up without being too dressy. So I checked back a couple of weeks later and these shoes that I got for 60 bucks were now 36 bucks. And the pink sneakers that I got that were originally 36 bucks is now 20 bucks. And of course, Zara doesn't do price adjustments, but there's a way to hack the system. I was lucky that the shoes were in stock, so I bought those two pairs again and because Zara has such a good return policy, I'm going to return these two pairs today and get money back. So I still get to take advantage of the sale and I get 40 bucks back and I also get the shoes. The next pair are a pair of shoes that are also very easy to wear on an everyday basis, but also good to wear for events. Just these basic lace up pointy shoes and this has been carried over for a few seasons now at Zara, probably because they're so popular and I got these ones on sale for $35. When I first saw that they brought this back for another season, I was like, okay, these are gonna go on sale, so I'm just gonna wait, because I know that this is a staple style. They're going to have a lot of stock of this. So I bought these shoes last year in an outlet mall. They were a huge splurge. These were 200 something dollars on sale from 400 something dollars. You know the big shoe trend with like public desire and that sock boot trend? A lot of these boots have a slightly higher shaft. I was for maybe a year or two years now hunting for boots with a higher shaft height that doesn't go up the calf but is also not as short as an ankle boot. Another problem is that when you get boots 
of this style, if they're flat, flat boots, they make your feet look really big. So they're kind of, they kind of look elfish, but these shoes come with just that right amount of heel and just that perfect shaft height so to the point where I went to a different store. I tried boots on that were also another very good shaft height. I hate, I'm saying like shaft so much and it's just getting a little sexual, but I tried on another pair of boots that hit up the leg that high and I marked on my leg with a pen, then ran back to the store, tried these boots on again and saw that they were just the perfect match. These are solid boots that are going to last me for years to come. So I spent another 50 bucks to put soles on these boots because I don't want to wear out the original sole. And once I get past this temporary one, then I just replace the sole without damaging the original boot. So these boots were an investment, a huge investment. I'm really glad that I got them at least half off. I've been hearing the hype about humidifiers and I know wintertime is super drying. Wintertime is brutal for my skin. There's a Facebook group in Toronto called Buns, and I am a very active member on Buns. Instead of exchanging for money, you exchange for things that you don't want. It's a bartering system. I was getting rid of an old chair and a couple stacks of scrapbook paper, and this lady messages me and she says, oh, I'll take those. My daughter works at Sage and she could get you a humidifier with a couple of essential oils and I was like down they're like a hundred something dollars and the girl gave me a couple of used essential oils and those smell amazing on the instructions they say to add five to ten drops but that's way too strong for me I use like two three drops and that's all I need these are a mix of scent diffusers as well as humidifiers and I put it on 30 second intervals and that goes on for six hours. So I think if you're looking for a heavy duty, hardcore humidifier, this isn't what you would look for. So this is something that's great for home decor, make your room smell nice, and also add a bit of moisture to the air. And I'm excited to see if it'll make a difference on my skin. But other than that, I'm really happy about the trade and that I didn't have to spend money on it. So I guess this turned out to be a money-saving haul. Everything that I got was at a discount price, so I'm very pleased with myself. It would mean so much if you subscribe to this channel or maybe tell your friends about me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you later. Bye!